Okay, I'm going to give you a quick little tutorial on how to deal with um, base 10 logs, or uh, logs that, sorry, that are not base 10, some other base like this, for example, log base 3 to the x, and how you put that into your calculator so you can get a graph up. So um, another way of writing this particular phrase is um, to write it as an exponential. So we know that we can write this thing as because this is my base 3, so base 3 to the exponent y is equal to x. This is what we did in algebra. I'm not going to reteach this, but this, this is another way of writing it. Now, if we take the logs of both of these sides, we know that when we take logs of an exponential function, um, the, the exponent comes down, goes out in front of the log. That's one of the rules. Now, if I want to get y equals, I simply am going to divide by 3 and divide by th log 3, and I'll get y is equal to log x divided by log. Now this is all base 10. A at this point, once we get to this point, we're dealing with logs of base 10, base 10, base 10 only. So here, these, this thing that you get at the end, is all log base 10 to the x divided by log base 10 of 3. You can put that into your calculator and it will put up a graph for you. If we have something a little bit more complicated, well, we know that x minus 1, this part of the equation here, this, this is going to move our graph and slide our graph. Now we know it slides our graph right or left, and it also changes our asymptote at this point. So we want to be able to graph this. Well, again, we, we still do what we just did. We, we write 3 to the exponent y, we write it as an exponential function, is equal to x minus 1. So we just write it as an exponential function. It makes not a lot of sense at this point, but that's how we do it. All right, so we don't write it as a log anymore. Now, when we take logs of both sides, We have this kind of statement. We know now that the exponent comes down and goes out in front. The other side is not going to change. Now we want to isolate the y. We simply divide by the log of 3, both sides. So now we're going to have y is equal to the log of x minus 1, again base 10, over log base 10 of 3. We can put that into the graphing calculator just as it is. The graphing calculator will accept that because it's base 10 and you can get a graph that shows accurately that particular situation.